This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Always good to be talking to Mark Tibbs on a Sunday. Um, yeah, before we do get into uh, yesterday's uh, antics, um, how are you, mate? How's things? Lovely, Louis. All good, mate. Um, can't grumble. I love my Sundays, but I, I respect your work. So <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I appreciate it, mate. I appreciate it. You was, uh, me and yourself, we were both at Wembley last night. Um, obviously, you as, as a fan. Um, yeah, what did you make of uh, of the whole event uh, at Riyadh season in Wembley? Fantastic event. Uh, what could I say? Do you, do you know what? Because, you know, boxing's my life and it's 24-7. And I, as I say, I love my weekends. You know, I was yeah. in two minds. But then when I started to see that, I, I had a couple of tickets. Uh, thank you to Queensbury for them. And uh, it's a fantastic seat. So I could not refuse. And uh I went along with one of my charges, Tommy Fletcher, and we had a great day. I met uh, Johnny Hedges and Giorgio Vizioli, all, all, all that got fights up and coming. Not John, but um, Tommy and Tommy and Tommy and uh, Vizioli. So I had a great, I had a great, a great time at the uh, at that event. And what an what a spectacle it was! Mm -hmm. It was just off the scale. It was really, really good. And I'm so glad I went. Yeah. Did you enjoy Liam Gallagher? I quite liked it. Listen, I'm a big fan of Oasis, and uh, and and yeah, it was uh, it was lovely to to hear a good old fashioned compared to to your kind of school, good old fashioned yeah. bit of rock and roll. But it ain't that old, but it was great. It was really good. It was really good. Absolutely for sure. You know, we'll jump straight into it. Yeah, Daniel Dubois um, stopping Anthony Joshua inside five rounds in a a real real sort of cutthroat, destructive display, and um, put him down in the first round, third round, and then fifth round he sealed the deal. Um, yeah, I guess what did you make of, of the fight? Do you know what? It was, uh, I wasn't surprised, you know. I did say uh, it'd be interesting to see if Daniel is uh, is plateauing or if he's uh, declining. And uh, and it proved last night uh, Daniel Dubois has, has, is, is, has been learning his craft because you could see, um, you could see the, you could see the ambition in his craft. You could see the game plan in his craft, and uh, I felt that uh, you know the, the 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 young lion proved to you know to to to, to overcome the you know the the old guard, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? In Anthony Joshua, um, I didn't think Anthony. Uh, I didn't couldn't see couldn't see intention or ambition in his work. Tell the truth, um, he was too easy to it with the left jab. Far too easy. I'm not sure if he slipped a shot. Uh, yeah. Daniel, on the other hand, uh, looked like he, he moved his head off that line. Uh, he moved his feet when he didn't move his head, which was great. And, uh, yeah, I was very surprised. He was put down, you know, Anthony was put down in the first and uh, wasn't a great start. That's for sure. And, um, you know, no, good fight. And what a finish by Daniel Dubois. Absolute peach of a punch. And, I, and listen, the straight one for me always beats the hooks or the uppercuts. But that was, and do you know what? Anthony had to push him back. Whoever pushed each other back on the back foot was going to win that fight. And uh, and Daniel started off the aggressor, obviously, for most of the most of the fight. Inside work, head control, beautiful by Dubois, beautiful. So and yeah, and uh, as I say, Anthony in the fifth round. I think he, he come out to, uh, to to establish authority once and final, but come unstuck through a, a right uppercut. You know, when you're pushing someone back to throw a right uppercut, it's very, very dangerous, extremely yeah. dangerous, as we saw. It, 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 you know, it, if he would have stuck that left hand out first as a bit of defence, Elgan crunched that right hand through. You know, it might have been the other way around, but Daniel... Uh, credit to Daniel, come back, come back, popped him straight right, easy, you know, just simple, 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 straight right, finished it. And uh, it wasn't a very nice finish for uh, for, for Anthony, even, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. One thing you mentioned there, I think a lot of people said, like, almost like the battle of the jabs that this fight was going to be, and Daniel implemented his jab so well. Um, you know, you worked sort of a brief period with Daniel, and, and how, you know, everyone talks about his right hand, but how sort of pivotal do you think his left hand was? You know, not with a with a leader, with the jabs as well. Like it was really, really strong. 
Yeah, no, Daniel, Daniel is a very dangerous puncher. As I said before, he's got weapons of mass destruction and he's fast and he's hard. And uh, as I say, uh, he was very, very ambitious and uh, determined last night. And I saw um, when Anthony, uh, Anthony was a little bit overconfident at times and it didn't make sense because he had no reason to be overconfident. You get me. Yeah. He was in. He, he was in. He was in with a young lion that wanted and wanted to win. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, credit to Daniel Dubois and, and and Don Charles. Don Charles is uh, you know, he's he's, he's done. He's, he's doing. He's doing well with Daniel for sure. Mm -hmm. When you when you see Daniel now and you see him, I guess from a year ago from the Usyk defeat, how how sort how do you look at him now and how much he's come on since that defeat now to get to the point where a year later he's knocked out Anthony Joshua? Yeah, well the fights he's been put in with uh, his previous two fights, uh, Baby Miller and uh, Alexander Usyk, he is uh, you can tell. Look, what I'm trying to say is last night I could see the craft in his makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He, he, in the intention, intention in the craft. I couldn't see that with Anthony uh, Joshua yeah. last night. I couldn't see, you know, he was just on the back foot, uh, Anthony. And uh, getting back to Daniel, yeah, I could see the the craft in his in his work, and therefore them fights he's had. I thought that was a good shot against uh, against Alexander Uzi. I thought that was a kosher body shot, and he should have been champion then. But um, foreign territory and all that, you know what I'm saying? But um, no, it was uh, Daniel has come on for sure. Yeah, he has come on. And focusing on the AJ point of view, um, where you did see how leaky his defence was, as you say, like the, the shots, especially the sort of the shot that put him down in the first round was a, a real sort of like a nothing shot almost in a way. But obviously, you know, when you're, when you're training there with Dubai, he's a hard hitter. A, a big, big sign for concern when you saw how easy that uh, Andy Joshua got hit, hit with. Yeah, for sure. Of course it is. I mean, you know, he just couldn't slip. He couldn't slip or slide. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he couldn't slip or slide or he couldn't defend a left jab. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, it was uh, it was very leaky last night. But um, he had a go. He had a go. And uh, he had a go in that, you know, he rolled the dice in the fifth round. And uh, Daniel... Give him room, give himself room, trade it. They both traded, as you saw. They both traded. I think uh I think Anthony eating with two right hands. He took him, he took some took a step back. He went in for the uppercut. But if he'd have held his left hand out first, there's a bit of defense. That right hand, Daniel's right hand wouldn't have touched Anthony. Yeah. You get me? But he, he I think he made a mistake throwing the right uppercut going forward. Against a against a one two merchant, they're both one twos. They're both one twos. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. But um, listen, he made a mistake and he paid the price. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a big claim for Anthony Joshua, and and I think it, it was used a lot in this Dubai fight because he was such a heavy hitter. With like, if he gets hit on the chin, he'll end up reverting to type, and he'll, he'll sort of almost know, not know what to do. Do you think we saw that there after sort of the first round? He had it didn't. He was sort of almost reverted to type and didn't really was fighting based off instinct. You're talking uh, Daniel Dubois? Jo no, Anthony Joshua. The way when he got hit, when he got hit, he just reverted to type and almost sort of just was fighting on instinct in a way. Um, a fight will always fight on instinct, Louis. A fight will always yeah. fight on instinct. But I couldn't see, I couldn't see a game plan there. I couldn't see. He couldn't deal with Daniel Dubois' ambition. And strength yeah. and determination. Yeah, yeah, he couldn't deal with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I'm not sure if that answers your question. No, no, that's, no, that's, absolutely, that's absolutely fine, yeah, for sure. Um, and yeah, I guess uh, sort of just moving on from the main event, was there anyone who sort of impressed you, I guess, on, on the undercard? Well, not the undercard, but, but on the whole show, was there anyone else you thought boxed really well? Listen, it was a great, great card, but I'm going to be straight with you. I just went there for the big fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. Yeah. And do you, know, do you know what? It was. It was. We saw every star and celebrity in the boxing world, the musical world, and uh, Roberto Duran, all the greats, and uh, Connor Ben. It was lovely to see Connor and Nigel Ben there. Um, Derek Chisora, as you know, 
it was a it was a it was a fantastic evening fantastic beautiful evening absolutely just before i actually do let you go mark um i actually just finished an interview with dave allen before that and he spoke to me he said the johnny fisher fight it seems like it seems like a fight that could be next um yeah before we do sign off um yeah a, a, a real real interesting fight between between fisher and and dave allen obviously when johnny gets when johnny is healthy but one that, that is a real test for johnny be a great be a great move for johnny fisher uh, against dave allen for sure 100 percent. that's uh yeah, great move. Great move for Fisher. Let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. How is Johnny at the moment? Johnny's great. Johnny's great. He's uh upbeat. He's uh I saw him last week with um with Sonny in our gym, uh doing a little bit of maintenance. But um he's in great spirits. So I get uh, get texts from time to time. And uh yeah, he's uh he's gonna be on the mend. He's gonna be on the mend, on the move, winning titles and fights. He's gonna be in the big fights too, so yeah. Absolutely. We love to hear it, mate. Mark, as always, a real, real pleasure to be catch up. We really do enjoy speaking to you. And yeah, sure it won't be too long since I'll be uh, catching up again, mate. Appreciate the time, man. Thanks, Louis. Thank All you. the best. Have a great weekend. Cheers, son. mate. Cheers.